welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is my TBR Rewind for the month of March. So before we talk about the books I need to read in March, let's talk about how I did in February. So in February I had three books that I needed to get to. Um, I read one of them, I started another, and then I didn't even attempt to start the third. So the book that I didn't finish and didn't even start is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Big Little Lies, so I wasn't too excited about this one, but I did want to give it a try because I wanted, you know, I can't just base an author by one book that they write, so I wanted to try again. Um, I did, do have it on audio, but I just didn't have the interest in getting to it this month and I ran out of time. So I actually am going to unhaul this book because I don't think I'm actually ever going to pick it up, but I do have the audio version, so I think if I listen to it, it might be better than um, reading it. But we'll see. So this one's gonna go, and I know that's gonna make some of you sad. I'm sorry, but I do have the audiobook, and I will try that again in the future. I just know that even if I do enjoy it more than I did Big Little Lies, I won't reread it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it now. Um, the next book that I started but didn't finish is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Um, I started this. I do enjoy it. I was kind of scared because it's a classic, but um, the writing style is really easy to read, and it's got some really pretty illustrations in here. Um, so I got about 50 pages in, and then I put it down to start Contemporary-thon, and I never picked it back up. Um, I will get to this eventually. Um, I'm not going to unhaul it, but I am going to unhaul something. So because I didn't get to The Husband's Secret, and I'm not a huge fan of Leanne, Leanne Moriarty, I am going to get rid of What Else Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. Um, just, I don't, I hate this copy. I actually got it for a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. But I really don't like this copy of it, so if I do end up reading it, um, and liking it, then, oh, this, the hard version of the book without the dust jacket is really pretty, so. but, oh, now I kind of don't want to get rid of it because that part's pretty, but, no, I gotta make room, and if I want to read this, I'll get it from the library, or I'll get the audiobook like I did for her Husband's Secret. So that is going. I need, the last book that I needed to get to in the month of February was Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Um, I wasn't overly excited to read this. I got this in a book box um, a while ago and I never picked it up. Um, but I loved it. It was so good. It was so good. It was quick. Um, easy to read. It was disturbing towards the end. Very disturbing. Um, but I really liked it and I'm going to continue on. I'm not going to keep this though. I am going to unhaul it and I'll just get the rest of them from the library. I do like these editions, but I don't want to buy them because I think once I read them once, I'm not going to read them again. So I'm just going to unhaul this. So I actually unhauled three books and I had three books. So I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I did like it and I am going to continue. I think I gave it four out of five stars. Alright, so those are my February TBR Rewinds. Let's talk about my March TBR Rewinds. So I had three books in the month of March that I need to get to. Um, the first book that I talked about, I actually had a choice. Um, I had one nonfiction that I don't own, which is I Am Lala. And I really want to read that one, but I don't own it. And I do own my classic, which is Peter Pan by um, Jim Barry. Um, so I, ha I gave myself a choice that month. I didn't read either one of them. So I'm going to pick up Peter Pan. I think I can get this on audio. It's super short and it shouldn't take me that long. Um, plus I own this copy and I want to read the books that I own. So I'm going to get to that one. The next book that I need to read in the month of March is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Um, this is the second book in the Divergent series. I read Divergent a um, really long time ago and I actually just listened to it on audiobook again to prepare for this one. So I am caught up. I know what happens and I'll be able to pick this one up and I got this one on audiobook as well so I'll be able to fly through it because I listen to them on two times speed and yeah they're kind of chunky but I mean they're YA so they're easy. YA dystopian if you guys don't know that you should though but if you don't it's YA dystopian. The last book that I need to read in the month of March for TBR Rewind is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. Um, this is the first book in a trilogy. It is a Sherlock Holmes, like, re-telling, reimagining, I guess, because it does follow, um, Sherlock Holmes's, like, great, 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 great niece, um, and her and her best friend Jamie, um, they stumble across the mystery and things happen. So I love these 
covers and the third one comes out this month I believe in March so um, yeah hopefully I will get to this one because I've been meaning to read it for a long time and I've never seen anyone talk about it um, on booktube and I was drawn to it because of the cover so I'm excited to get to it it's super short and I think I'm really gonna enjoy it so those are the books that I need to read in the month of March um, let me know if you guys have anything that you need to get to this month don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Goodreads, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll talk to you later.